Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and here we are once again playing modded Minecraft. And, well, first of all, I kind of made some super fuel. I'll show you what I mean by that. Uh, this should be enough. I only really need... Oops. Oops, that's a synthesis machine. I only really need to get... Okay, that'll get it done. So, I made some cellulose, right? So then we'll break down the cellulose, we'll get hydrogen and oxygen. So then you'll take three hydrogen and one carbon, and you'll get methyl. So you'll get approximately three of those per cellulose. Then you'll go one, two, one, two, one, two, three. And that gets you methyl methacrylate, which, now, you saw that I made that from one set of stairs. Uh, you know what? Honestly, I don't care about the rest of these. These can go die in a fire. So, I got two of them from one set of stairs. Now, stairs have a 40% chance to break down, but the burn time is 5,700. Which means I just turned one set of stairs into uh, roughly a, a fifth? A fifth-ish. Well, I'll go with a fourth. Fourth is closer. A fourth of one bucket of fuel. Which means it's a renewable source. Although I do have two oil wells over there. But maybe, maybe those can be used for other things. I don't know. So, I made, actually, a decent bit of it, and I've been running them in there because this ran out of water and I had to let it cool down, otherwise it would explode. And I've just been cooking up cobblestone. Uh, I've got three of these back here, but I only have one attached at the moment, so it's pretty loaded up. But the reason why we're doing that, actually, you know what, let's start with this. Book, compass, empty antique atlas. So, I don't think it really matters too much, but I'm going to start it from here. So, when we open this up, you can see that there's a village over here. And it's not really showing a whole lot else, because I haven't really explored much else. But what I can do is I can choose to add a marker. Or, uh, I'll put it right here. And I'll just call it base. Now... That doesn't show up in the world, which is why I have to have the book if I want to navigate. But I can drag it around, and I can even export the image if I really want to. But I can reset the position, which should put it back on me. I can zoom out this far, which is... I think that's somewhere in the area of probably about five to 600 blocks-ish, roughly, kind of. I'm not sure what will happen if I finish tearing down the village, or if I like, move the villagers over here, if it'll readjust, I'm not sure. But, that is my map, so... So I'll keep that on me. So for every six stacks of slabs, I need two stone blocks. And this is going to be the start of me making something from Z-Tones. So this is how you make the Z-Tones tile. You get eight of them for six slabs and one stone. So, that's quite a lot. And then for every eight of these, I could combine iron. So, I shouldn't do this, but I'm going to do it anyhow. I'm going to burn an entire stack of iron. There is one specific block. It is called tank. And it doesn't really matter which one of these I click on to try and make it, because it should end up making the same result regardless, yeah. So, I've got a bunch of extra Z-Tones blocks. That's going to be probably the primary building thing, but this is Alt slash Control Scroll to change through the blocks. So, my primary wall block I'm probably going to use is... Not that one. The horizontal one. And this is just a skeleton shield here. And I've attempted to add in a mod. I don't know whether it's working or not, but it's designed to make zombies and skeletons more intelligent. Ah, go away. Nobody wants you. Hmm. Yes. I 
I like it. Could probably use some detail... detailing, rather, not detail, but... I'd say this is actually quite acceptable. Now, there's probably gonna be large segments of tearing down walls and putting up new walls and stuff like that, but... For now, I'm just gonna build a skeleton shield. Because... I wanna rip this down to give me a little bit more access. Oh, and I'm sure you saw the backpack sitting there. I need to get to that because that is the results of the uh, quarry. Eh, just do that. And the thing about the quarry, it actually worked out really well because the level I put it at, I was... And you can actually scroll through these pretty quickly. And how many different types of... Eh. It's actually quite usable for a lot of different things, because they actually have a lot of... Like, this mod, it, I would argue it's better than chisels, simply because of how easily you can switch between... Ow. Block types. So, I don't know if it's working, because I don't see any blood splatters, but one of the mods I added in is called Zombie Awareness, and basically, I don't think it has any items. Yeah, so it won't show up in here. But it's designed to make zombies and skeletons smarter. If I injure myself, it should leave behind a sort of scent that will decay after a period of time. And if I'm below, I think it was 60% health, it will do it every 30 seconds, and zombies and skeletons will generally track after the most recent blood splatter. No, oh, no, get out of my way. Move. So, I'm not sure how well it's going to work, but we'll see. Oh, and another cool thing about these, they actually have build craft facades, so it gives me an even better reason to use build craft. Because, as far as I can tell, oops. Yeah, there's no micro block support, only facade. So anything actually leaving through or traveling through a Z-Tones wall, I'm probably going to use Buildcraft because it supports facades better. Uh, just, is that? This is the default. Just convert it back to the default and leave it in there. I actually did pretty well on that. But when I made a bed... This is a carpenter's bed. So, actually, you know what? I'm going to take two of these, and I'm going to put them into the bed frame. It's now a metal bed. That actually looked better than I thought. I was worried about how the edge textures would show up on it, but... I um, moved the reeds over here, tore down the brick building we were living in. Obviously, I moved all the storage over and added a couple more. So... This is the spoils of the quarry, besides, obviously, dirt and cobble. So, we have 48 obsidian, so that is actually really good there. I'm actually going to take five of these. Uh, I need to take some coal, uh, same amount. And I'm gonna, I need to break that down. Are you outputting? No, okay. Wait, are you pulling? No. Why are you pushing? Why would you push up? That does not make any sense. Stupid machine. So, I even got ink sacks from it, because I put water in it. That's how, obviously how I got most of the obsidian. And buildcraft quarries have changed, in case you're unaware. The amount of power it takes to break a block is based on the block. So, like, dirt and stone. They're actually pretty cheap to break, so it actually only took a single chest full of sulfur to mine from the level I was at to the bottom. Uh, minus two stacks, actually. So a full single chest minus two stacks. Which is actually... I'd consider that pretty good, considering. But I didn't get any sulfur back out of it because I had pretty much mined it all out of there already. So, unfortunate there. 
Uh, I can, however, now go with or tripling because I have access to this, which might sound a bit overpowered, and it potentially could be, but uh, what are you going to do? And you know what? It, it can just output out the back. I don't care about that. So I'm going to set this to alloy mode. I'm going to grab myself five iron. And this is going to take a while. I just realized something. I need to make a portal to the nether. I have flint, right? I have at least one piece of flint. Yes. Oh, I was in the right chest. Why am I opening that? That is unnecessary. And then I closed it afterwards, which made it even more unnecessary. Whoa, stop. Uh, since I've got so much obsidian, I'm just going to make a full portal. Uh... I want to make sure I make it slightly away from the wall so mobs can't somehow find a way in. I don't want it there because that's actually my general exit out. So I think I'll put it partly submerged in the ground here. Um... So, on a random note, I've been suddenly intrigued by watching uh, YouTube videos of people doing Warhammer 40k tabletop battles, which is part of the reason why I started the Dawn of War series, and it's for some odd reason super interesting and it's kind of odd. I want to test something here real quick. Because I'm not really a huge fan of tabletop games. Mostly because they tend to be a lot more expensive to actually get into. But one that was particularly interesting. I watched the 2013 Apocalypticon. Which is basically like their super convention for Warhammer 40k or whatever. Or the, I think the Mini Wargaming version. Mini Wargaming being the YouTube channel. And it was insane. Because the battles I had been watching before that, it was like 200 point, or 2,000 point battles. 1,500, 2,000 point. Which seemed surprisingly, like, it seemed like a good battle. Apocalypticon was uh, a lot more than that. They had a bunch of people, and it was like, essentially like a giant alliance battle or whatever. Maybe it was just a whole bunch of people fighting each other, but I think it was an alliance battle. I think that's what it's called. It was 600,000 points per side. I think. All I know is it was ridiculous, so that was definitely amusing. Okay, so we need to go to the nether. What do I have available to me? I have some food. something really comical about food. If I grab this, there's this thing called food spiking as part of mine chem where you can actually take chemicals, but you can make water without the desynth just by doing this. And so what that means, water actually provides one extra food. So these cooked pork chops are now spiked and I don't need the extra water. So, they'll actually provide, I think it's, I don't, I think it's either, I, I don't know if it's a 0.2 multiplier, or if it's just 0.2. I think it's a 0.2 multiplier of saturation. So, it'll saturate slightly longer, and one extra hunger. I've never opened one of these in the nether. Does that actually work? Does this actually work in the nether? Okay, so some things I'm going to... <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, some things I'm going to need. Glowstone, soul sand, nether quartz. Uh, there's some nether quartz right there. What did I just pick up? Oh, must have been more nether egg. Why does it seem so dark around that fire? Hello? 
Um, fire? Whew! Almost lit myself on fire. I don't know what was going on with that fire. That was a heck of a lighting bug out. It doesn't make any sense. I haven't loaded into the nether before, and I haven't used any kind of editing tools or anything, so I'm deeply confused as to why that was bugged out. I'm just gonna go with Minecraft logic, because... Minecraft? Well, that looks dangerous. So I need soul sand, for sure. And for a very good reason. I need nether quartz, for a very good reason. And I need glowstone for a very good reason. And you know what? Netherrack can come too. Because I can turn Netherrack into some serious mine chem machines, but they're a little bit beyond my ability to power things at the moment, so. Eh, maybe it's not a good idea? Well, I wouldn't say beyond my ability, but. Powering them would be ultra slow. And that's just unpleasant for able, for all parties involved. Uh, hmm. I'm on. Where's the soul sand? Well. Hmm. Wait a second here. Okay, there is, there is more down there. This doesn't solve my soul sand problem. Why can I not find any soul sand? Does this work? Oh, oh, okay. <sighs> I was like, no, it stopped tracking me. It doesn't work, but it does. Uh, how do I get soul sand if I can't find any? Excuse me, fire. Excuse me, fire. Excuse me. Where's all the soul sand? I have never had such a hard time finding it. Ever. So I'm intentionally letting my food get down lower so I can show off the uh, spiked pork chop. I think I'll let it get down by six because I just don't recall. I think pork chops is four, but I could be wrong. It's always a possibility. Okay, now I'm stuck in like a network of caves. Ah, it doesn't go anywhere interesting. Okay, so we're down by six. Yes. Oh, and it accidentally ate another one. But that's okay. I can live with that. Hmm. Is there any way to make soul sand with any of my machines? Only through this, which would need beryllium. But I can get beryllium. I can actually get beryllium from netherrack. It's one of the materials needed in order to make actually both the I'm pretty sure it's included in the fusion chamber and the fission chamber. Now technically you can call them reactors but they don't generate power like most mods do. They actually do the opposite. They take power but they allow you to modify elements. So you can break elements in half, or you can combine elements together to create other elements. So, oh great. I've deeply lost myself inside of the confines of the walls of the nether. I thought about putting in nether ores, but for some odd reason I didn't. Is it this way? Oh, oh, we're getting out in the open. So, hmm. I'd like to get down somehow. And this is such a big patch of 
nether quartz that I can't resist. I say nether quartz. Oh, it's technically labeled nether quartz. I thought it was just labeled quartz. Because I'm so used to AE2 being in mod packs, which I intentionally, well, AE in general, but I didn't include it because, I mean, I think it's pretty obvious by not even including iron chests. There's actually a lot of nether quartz around here, which is fantastic, because I need a lot of it. Uh, I've been, I'm trying to make storage harder. As comically retarded as that sounds in a mod pack. Because part of the whole goal is to create problems that are outside of what you would normally expect in modded Minecraft. Because of all the mods available to do things. And find interesting ways to solve them. I'm going to put that there as a marker. Ooh, close down. But, yeah. Now, obviously, it's not quite as interesting with storage drawers being what it is, but that's only one item each. Granted, the, the large ones can be pretty large, it's still only one item. So, they're only really equivalent to a crappier barrel. Which, I thought about putting in Jabba, but... Eh, it comes down to that situation of... I oh, should be good enough. For now. I feel like it comes down to that situation of... You know, oh, we'll just fill everything with barrels and use logistics pipes. But... At the same time... I don't know if all the performance issues that are solved with walls of barrels have been resolved. So... I'd like to avoid walls of barrels. So, what best way to avoid it than to remove the temptation entirely? Really, game? Are you really trolling me with that soul sand right now? Really? Okay, it's not soul sand. I'm imagining things. But even still... Where is all the soul sand? This is... Seriously abnormal. Is that the same fortress or a different fortress? If I've already found a different fortress before I've found any soul sand, I'm going to be deeply disappointed. I'm also going to have a really hard time getting out, I think, of the nether. Hmm. I don't believe I have anything in that affects nether generation. Uh, there's a possibility that COFH core might, but I don't know. If there's no soul sand being generated and I have to create it all through mine cam, that's going to be disappointing. Hmm. I wonder if there's maybe a typo or something in the uh, world generation file. Well, this is unpleasant. And that was a blaze spawner. Did you see that? That's... that's unhealthy. Now, I have had issues before where it's been really hard to just find soul sand at all, so... Maybe I just have the unluckiest soul sand spawned in history. Even still, if I want to make what I want to make... I guess this brings me down to using netherrack as a... And mine cam is a bandage solution. Oh, nope, nope, nope. That is definitely soul sand. Oh, 
Oh yes. I need you. Come to me. Come to me, sweet soul sand. You are used in things. Things that are important to me. Z-tones and a few things from Enderio. So come to me. You are necessary to my life. Technically, Nether Quartz is too, but I've got over a stack, so that should be good for now. I'll, you know, undoubtedly come back in and mine up as much as possible. Although, I might wait, save it, see if I can't get... Getting Silk Touch be simpler with the Enchanter from Enderio. Theoretically. Yeah. Okay. Must be more than enough soul sand. Uh. Okay, it is working. I need to go this way. The question is. How much lower have I gotten from where I started? Well, that looks unpleasant. I don't have a ranged weapon. You. Where do you take me? Ooh. Ooh. Is he going to take me out? No. Well, crap. I don't want to go past the blaze because I don't want to get set on fire. Oh, crap. Ow. Ow, fire. Fire burns. Fire hot. Well, that could have been worse. Well, I'm gonna need netherrack anyhow. Might as well do a little bit of mining through the wall. I am not even remotely prepared to deal with blazes because I have zero ranged weapon at the moment. So, yeah. Uh, that should be far enough. Although, who knows how far I am from the open on this side now. Oh, good tunnel. Oh, jeez! Okay, you. Uh, I should have jumped. Yeah. Return to sender. Okay, so, where am I? Uh, this way. Uh, actually, it would be down here. Oops, somewhere. This way. Yes, this looks familiar. So it should be in there. If it loops around, yeah. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Mess something up. Gone a wrong way somewhere. I remember coming through here. Oh, okay. Okay. You know what? I'll torch it when I come back through later. So yes, antique atlas. I like it. And, yeah. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't pause the world. Uh, let's just, yeah. It does not pause the world, so when I'm looking at it, I can be attacked. Things can be dangerous. I will, you know, I only tested with the base block. Uh, let's screw it, put all those in there. Oh, actually, before we get moving, doing nothing. I need to show you why I needed soul sand. So two of that, two of that. I need to make, one of the first things I want to make is solarium. Solarium. And I need a tank. And unfortunately I think I need an ender IO tank. Uh, 
regular fluid tank. Oh, I can make that without use of that. I I have one piece of glass. Why not? I did make iron bars, so four of those, four iron, and a tank. Solarium. Uh, we got our dark steel. And how long on the solarium? Not much longer. I will set this back to pool, and I will change you to furnace mode so you can pull back in your cobble. I'm not likely going to make too much more solarium at the moment. Oh, I need another piece of gold. The reason why I'm doing this is this. Oh, what did I screw up? Oh, energetic alloy. Whoops. So, I do need the gold, but I also need a redstone and a glowstone. Glowstone should probably be in the uh, needed material lease chest thing, but I'm going to disregard that. Uh, I'll put it here, for now. I'll probably have to make another tank. Uh, while that one is cooking up, I need three sticks. The first two sticks would be used to make the dock pick, which doesn't look very spectacular at the moment. Now, the Ender is very useful, but the Dark Pick, both of them, I do not want to use them at all. Well, eh, I've got enough Obsidian, I can afford to use them. Although it's kind of pointless, because the sword I have now does more damage, and I don't... I, I'm, I'm going to leave them... I'm going to actually put them over here in this chest. I don't want to use them till I've advanced the system here a little bit, so oh, give me my energetic alloy please. Now I'll change you to furnace mode. So, there's this nifty wand, the experience rod. So, I made a tank because as far as I'm aware it needs to be an ender IO tank. I know it didn't work with a railcraft one, it might work with a buildcraft one, I'm not sure, but shifting, shift right clicking, ooh, I was worried about that. Crap. Uh, crap. On two aspects. One aspect is because things are getting longer than I want them to. But... Actually, you know what? I, I think that gives you a good concept. Now, all you have to do is regular right-click. And I get the experience back. I was just making sure that there wasn't some kind of weird duplication type glitch there. So, I'm going to need to come up with a source of food, but I can get rid of experience now. So, yeah. I can dump all my experience, so I have to worry about losing it. It appears that each tank can hold... Well, those are higher experience levels, so... Eh. So, next time, we'll probably add a basic capacitor and a vibrant crystal to each of those tools. Basic capacitor is pretty simple. Uh, I'll need to make some... Capacitors. It's actually a good thing I showed you how to make the energetic alloy, because that's, that's going to speed up next one. But I'm going to call this good here. I'm probably going to work on surrounding the base with these more in the meantime. Possibly extending it higher. And... Actually, no. No, I'm going to leave that alone, because I actually want to make a filler, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill down rather than flatten down because I want the idea that I just built over the existing terrain rather than dug a hole into it. Uh, one reason, because I don't have to fight with terrain as much. Another reason is I can use up cobble from other quarries I'm inevitably going to do. Um, what I'm probably going to do I might actually make a couple capacitors off-camera. 
and I'll show you now about the capacitors. I'm just going to make the regular double layer capacitors, which is two basic capacitors, an energetic alloy, and a pulverized coal. Now we've made one of these, actually we made two of these already. So, but I will go through making those again next time. So, this is going on about six minutes longer than I wanted. So I'm going to call this good, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.